Hey gang, John Baccarelli here and it's Wednesday, June 10th and man, I haven't even looked at the calendar to see when our last video fishing report was, but it seems like forever. It seems like we even, I don't think we had ice still, but uh, it wasn't, wasn't long after we lost ice, so I think it was the last video that we did. Uh, first wanted to start out by just saying, you know, I'm sorry guys, I know a lot of you guys wanted us to do fishing reports through all this crazy shutdown COVID thing up here and nationally. And, uh, you know, I just, I couldn't do it. I didn't want to, number one, I didn't want to poke the bear. And number two, I was not really wanting to encourage everybody to pile in on these boat launches and all these shore access points that were already crazy overcrowded with people and just didn't want to antagonize the situation. So, you know, that's why we didn't do reports during that during that period. We were open for most of it in here on a limited basis, but we just we just didn't want to create any more any more issues than there was already going on. So, with that said, the status up here right now in Michigan and on Lake St. Clair is that uh, most of the boat launches are open. Um, Crocker Road is still closed right now, but they are working on that. They are dredging, uh, trying to get that opened up, um, but I don't think these winds they're getting right now are helping them too much. Um, Nine Mile Boat Launch was open, but I guess they had some kind of an issue down there that's forced them to close it down for at least a week or so here while they repair the docks down there. So uh, Harley remains open, has been very consistent. Uh, the Metro Lake St. Clair Metro Park has been open. Selfridge Access, uh, the boat launch over there at the end of M59 has been open. So there's still plenty of access to get on the water out here. Now, as far as the fishing, let's start out with the walleye fishing and I'm gonna go north first and then work our way back down. So basically the St. Clair River is really rocking right now on the walleyes. Uh, the Marysville area is the hottest, although guys are catching fish up and down the St. Clair River. There are big pods of fish all over the place and there appears to be a lot of bait fish as well. Um, so St. Clair River, you know, no problem catching fish up there. Guys at night are catching them, casting from shore. Guys during the daytime um, are catching them. Some jigging early in the morning, and then a lot of guys pulling harnesses uh, with meat. I mean, that's been really effective up there. So, uh, you know, whippers are catching fish. Um, everybody's catching walleye up there in the St. Clair River. Coming down here to the lake, or I should say, let's go out to the channel first, out there by the South Channel, um, by 26 through 30 area out there on the channel. Tons of walleyes out there, guys. As of right now, a lot of small fish, a lot of what we call sugar sticks out there, which are some of the sublegal fish up to probably 16, 18 inches. A lot of fish out there. They're gonna get bigger. There's gonna be bigger fish moving up along that channel bank. As they move up from the Detroit River, there'll be bigger fish out there. Um, but there's a ton of fish out there. There's also a ton of fish out here in front of Metro Beach between uh, Harley Boat Launch and then all the way down into the 400 Club and a lot of these fish are in really tight, as, at least as of yesterday. Uh, one of our pro staffers, Isaac, was out there. And I mean, he shot some video that they were right outside of Beacons Cove. I mean, casting range away with their boards and <laughs> the boards were going down like bobbers. So um, there's a lot of fish in there. You just gotta find the right water clarity. And these fish seem to be like in that warmer water temp. So um, Isaac was in like 70 degree water um, with uh, that really warm shoreline water. There's a lot of bait in there and those those fish were really snapping and these are some bigger fish these are some bigger year classes in there guys there's uh, one of the fish he got was like 26 inches so and they got and they got another 23 so there's some really nice fish in tight along the shoreline right now now we got some weather coming in and i'm going to get this video going here quick because it's getting dark as i'm as i'm shooting this video we got some nasty storms coming and once they hit you won't even be able to hear me this building gets so loud but um Point is, with that weather coming in, it's gonna shift that water around, it's gonna dirty some water up, and it's gonna move those fish around and move that warmer water around. So you might have to hunt a little bit to find them this weekend, but once you do, um, there's huge numbers of fish out there. Now, for all you smallmouth guys that have been calling the store for weeks, you know, again, I'm sorry, you know, that you, you missed a lot of that preseason fishing up here. Uh, the fish are either on beds for the most part right now, or post-spawn. I would say more fish post-spawn, but there's a lot of fish in tight still. So you got a lot of fish shallow out to say 12, 13 feet, maybe 14 with this, this warm snap that we just had, but there's a lot of fish in tight. You're ned rigging, drop shotting. Um, we saw a lot of Kytex, the guys are throwing those. Um, just about everything is working out there. Cr guys are cranking them up as well. So there's a lot of smallies being caught. 
Um, it's just going to be a matter of finding the right water clarity. Again, with all this weather coming in, they're forecasting like some 70 mile an hour gusts this afternoon or this evening with these fronts coming through. Um, and some cooler temps this weekend though, which will be nice. The mayfly hatch has just started. We don't have any mayflies here on the shoreline yet because of the wind directions, but I'm getting a lot of reports from guys out there on the lake saying that the mayfly hatch has begun. So not hot and heavy yet, but it has started. Um, not a whole else, else to report. I mean, the muskie bites started out a little bit slow, at least for the guys that are targeting muskies. But for all you guys that are trolling for walleyes in tight and casting for bass, I think you're hooking a lot of muskies, maybe more than you want to. But uh, so at least it sounds like the muskie guys are, uh, are having a little slower go of it. And maybe the guys fishing for bass and walleye might be catching more muskies. So, uh, but that's the way it goes out here on St. Clair. Um, with that said, that's about it. We were we're going to try to make these fishing reports, you know, much much more closer to normal going forward. Um, just, you know, pray that all you guys stay healthy out there. If you are coming up to visit us, you, you need to know that a lot of these a lot of the stores are requiring face masks as you go in. We appreciate you face wearing face masks when you come into our stores. Um, everybody, stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll see you here at the shop. Hey, if you like this video content and you want to get updated as soon as the next video is out there, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon and you'll get notified as soon as the next video is up.